how to download and install the latest NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card GPU drivers. The first thing we need to do is check our graphics card model. To do this, navigate to the bottom left-hand corner here on your taskbar and left-click on the search box. Once you've done that, type the following, task space manager. The best match should be the task manager application. Navigate to the right hand side here and left click on open. And as you can see, the task manager application opens here and we're currently in the process tab. What we're interested in is the performance tab. So I'm just going to left click on performance here. Once you're in the performance tab, look for GPU. As you can see, I have GPU zero and GPU one here. GPU zero is our Intel graphics and GPU one here is our Nvidia graphics card. So I'm just going to left click on GPU one here and look to the top right hand corner here. I'm just going to maximize it here just for better viewing. And as you can see, our GPU is the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 with Max-Q design. The Max-Q design is built for laptops and that is exactly what I'm using to make this video guys. Great, once you know your graphics card model, you can X out of the task manager. The next thing we need to do is open up our browser and navigate to the following URL address, https colon slash slash www.nvidia.com slash download slash index dot ASPX. Once here, you'll be taken to the NVIDIA driver downloads page. Here you can select from the drop down list below to identify the appropriate driver for your NVIDIA product. So as you can see in our list here, we have the product type, the product series, the product, operating system, download type and language. Let's start with the product type here. So simply left click on this arrow here and choose your product type. Our product type is GeForce. So I'm just going to left click on GeForce here. Next is the product series. Again, left click on the arrow here and look for the appropriate product series. For me guys, we have the RTX 20 series. And as you can see, there are two RTX 20 series here, the GeForce RTX 20 series for notebooks and the standard GeForce RTX 20 series for both desktops and laptop PCs. Of course, guys, I have the Max-Q design, so we're going to be going with the notebook version here. So I'm going to left click on GeForce RTX 20 series notebooks. Next is product. Left click on the arrow here and choose your correct product. As you can see, there's the GeForce RTX 2070 Super here and the GeForce RTX 2070. I have the standard GeForce RTX 2070, so I'm going to be left clicking on GeForce RTX 2070 here. Next is the operating system. I'm on Windows 10 64 bit. If you're not on Windows, left click on the arrow here and you have a number of different OS's to select from. Next is download type. So I'm just going to left click on this arrow here. You have the game ready driver or GRD or the studio driver. SD. If you're a gamer, you're going to be going with the game ready driver. And if you're more of a creator designing games and software, etc., then you're going to be going with the studio driver. For me, guys, I'm going to be going with the game ready driver here. So I'm just going to left click on game ready driver language. I'm going to left click on the arrow here. Again, pick the appropriate language for you. For me, it's going to be English UK. So I'm just going to left click on English UK here. All that's left to do now is to left click on search. You'll then be taken to the GeForce game ready driver. That's appropriate for your graphics card. For me guys, as you can see, the version is 471.11. The release date is the 22nd of June 2021. Operating system, Windows 64-bit, language English UK, and file size of the Game Ready Driver is 720 megabytes. To download this GeForce Game Ready Driver, simply left click on the download button here. As you can see, we're now on the download page, which says, this download includes the NVIDIA graphics driver and an option to additionally install the GeForce Experience application. Details for use of the software can be found in the NVIDIA GeForce software license and the GeForce Experience software license respectively. To download your GPU driver, left click on download once again. Windows will then prompt you to pick a save location for this NVIDIA driver. I'm going to be going with the downloads folder here. I'm going to be leaving the file name as it is and the save as type as application. Once you're happy with your choices, left click on save. The GeForce Game Ready driver will then begin downloading. I'll be back with you guys once the driver has been downloaded. All right guys, as you can see, the download has completed now. To begin the installation process, navigate to the bottom left-hand corner here of your browser and left-click on this arrow. Once you've done that, left-click on Show in Folder and you'll be taken to your Downloads folder where your NVIDIA GeForce driver has been downloaded to. The next thing we need to do is double-click on the NVIDIA driver installer. Once you've done that, you'll be greeted with Windows User Account Control asking you, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Of course, guys, we want to install our driver, so we're going to have to select yes. Once you've done that, you'll 
you're greeted with a small window here which says NVIDIA Display Driver V which stands for version 471 0.11 international package. Specify the folder where the driver files are saved. Below that is the extraction path and you can see the extraction path destination right here. You can left click on this folder button here to choose a different extraction path location. I'm going to leave the extraction path as default and then I'm going to left click on OK. Once you've done that, NVIDIA will tell you to wait while the files are saved to your computer. When complete, the driver installation will start. I'll be back with you guys once the files have been extracted to the extraction path location. Once your driver files have been extracted to your chosen location, you'll be greeted with the NVIDIA graphics driver installer. There are four phases to your driver installer. The first is system check, license agreement, options, install, and finish. We're currently on the license agreement. You have two installation options here. The first one is the NVIDIA graphics driver and GeForce Experience installation. Below that, you have the NVIDIA graphics driver by itself. For this video, guys, I'm going to be selecting the NVIDIA graphics driver only. If you're interested in GeForce Experience and automatically updating your driver using it, I'll put a link in the video description to a video of mine titled How to Update NVIDIA GeForce Game Ready Drivers or NVIDIA Studio Drivers. All right, guys, once you've selected NVIDIA graphics driver, left click on Agree and Continue. Next is the installation options here, of which you have two options. The first option is Express, which is recommended by NVIDIA. This upgrades existing drivers and retains current NVIDIA settings. Underneath that is Custom, which is your advanced installation option. This allows you to select the components you want to install and provides the option for a clean installation. For this video, guys, I'm going to be going with the Custom or Advanced installation option. Right underneath here, it says, Note some flashing might occur during the installation. Once you've made your choice, guys, left click on Next. On this page, guys, you can select the driver components. Here you can see the components you're going to be installing. In the next column is the new version you're going to be upgrading to, and to the right of that column is the current version you're on. As you can see, guys, all my current driver version components match the new versions, and that is because I already have the latest released driver components installed. The first component is your graphics driver, which is automatically checkmarked, and you can't uncheckmark this because this is the whole purpose of this installation process. Underneath is the HD audio driver, the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, physics system software, and the USB-C driver, all of which you can uncheckmark or checkmark to your liking. I'm going to leave everything checkmarked bar the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application. Right at the bottom here, you have the ability to perform a clean installation, which you can checkmark or uncheckmark. I'm going to leave it uncheckmarked as I like the settings that I currently have for my NVIDIA GPU. However, if you want to go back to a clean installation to restore all NVIDIA settings to the default value, removing any profiles you have created, then you can checkmark this box. All right, guys, once you've selected all the relevant components that you'd like to install, left click on next. Once you've done that, the NVIDIA installer will begin preparing to install your NVIDIA GeForce GPU driver. I'll be back with you guys once the installer has completed the installation. All right, guys, once the installation has finished, you'll be greeted with the completion page here, which tells you all the components you have chosen to install, their version, and the status. All that's left to do now, guys, is to left click on close. All right, guys, you have now successfully installed your NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card drivers. And that pretty much concludes the video on how to download and install the latest NVIDIA GeForce RTX graphics card GPU drivers. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Wait, is it so